so Fiji here, welcome back to another video. Now, um, I'm gonna do something called, like, I'm gonna do a quiz called, What Mac and Mimil character are you? Now, you're probably thinking to me, she's probably saying to yourself, actually, or to me through the screen, probably saying, Fiji, why haven't you done this before? And my answer to that is, you see, I'm not that creative. That's why I haven't. So, and that's what I'm doing right now, because I just thought of it now, because I watched it, I watched it earlier tonight. So, here, here, here we go. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna try and get, Either Dewey or Reese. Now I like both of them because they're pretty funny and they uh, mischievous, a bit like me. So yeah, I can relate to them a lot more, I guess. So here we go. You're at the mall past closing time, and you're being accidentally locked in without your phone. What do you do? Find a phone and alert authorities. Run wild through the store. Bust out a window, or wait for someone to find you. Find me. Huh, let's see. Probably say bust out a window because that's probably what that's probably gonna happen anyway. <laughs> Next one. You get a call from your friend telling you they're in trouble and need to be bailed out, bailed out of jail. How do you react? Let them let them rot? No, I wouldn't do that. I'm shocked. I can't help. I'm in trouble too. Or no problem. I'll help them. No problem, I'll help them, of course. Next one. It's your turn to take the class hamster home for the weekend. What's your plan? It, it'll be, it'll be my, my, my best friend, gross. It's not coming in, into my house. I'm scared or by me or I'll set it free. Hmm. Well, if it's the class hamster, I'll probably... Try to try to be friends with it because I don't want everybody in the class to hate me if I if I if I set it free or don't let it come to my house stuff like that. Cause so I'll, I'll, I'll try to train I'll train it up into the best best of my ability. What's your plan to win a big competition? Uh, competition competition. Sorry, cheat? No, I don't cheat. You guys know you guys know right now that I don't, that I don't cheat. Try my best. Threaten the judges? No, I don't do that either. Or take out the take out the competitors. I I don't I wouldn't do any of these except try my best. So I'll try my best. Also, all the things I choose, this is what I do if it actually happened. You accidentally run over a neighbor's bike. What do you do? Hide the evidence? Apologize profusely? I think that's I think that's how you pronounce it. Chew them out for leaving it there, or act like somewhere else did it. I would, uh, I would apologize because that's the right thing to do. Okay, next one. When you are viewing for a funeral, you cry, cringe, acting different, or think the dead body is cool. Why would you think a dead body is cool? Well, every funeral that I've been to. Like my nana's, my my ex's, dad's, um, with all of those, I've cried at all of them because I was very close to all the people that died. So yeah, I'll say that one. Probably cry because come on, guys, come on, guys, you you do that too if you're in my if you're in my position. The train has just pulled out of the station, and you realize you've boarded one headed in the wrong direction. What's your next move? Calmly get off as soon as possible. Get excited, new adventure. I panic, or I wouldn't even notice my mistake. Hmm. If I realize I'm going in the wrong direction, that was probably really the first thing that I realized I'm going the wrong going in the wrong direction. So I wouldn't say I wouldn't notice, because I would notice. I wouldn't panic, because that, that would make me even more stressed. I would get excited, but I wouldn't want to go far away from my from my from my original destination. So we're gonna say can't we get off ASAP, which is as soon as possible. You open your front door to find muddy footprints everywhere. What's your first thought? Who did this? Where's the carpet cleaner? I not clean this up or uh Well if it's not my fault, like if I didn't do it, I will I like I'm not cleaning this up. So it doesn't say you, the question just doesn't say that you did it. So I was saying I'm not cleaning this up because well, it's not my problem. I didn't do it. 
Okay, number nine. If you feel that someone was being punished unfairly, how would you help? Take the blame instead? It's not our problem? Say something to defend them or help them escape? Hmm. It depends on who the person is, really. Where's the option of it depends who the person is? Probably say, um... You know what, if it's something for someone I don't know, it's not my problem. Number 10, last and final one. A new friend tells you they want to introduce you to their sibling. How do you feel about it? I avoid the meeting, I want it, I'm nervous, or I don't care. Um, I'm nervous because I'm not sure what that would be like. So, yeah, so I'll say uh, soon. I am, apparently, I am. Get result, I am. Oh, I'm Hal. This guy. Oh, Hal. This guy. I'm him, apparently. Although you mean well, things don't always go as you plan. Putting others first means that you end up throwing yourself under the bus at times. But, uh, but the unconditional love that you show for, your, for others makes you a pretty darn lovable yourself. Awesome! Awesome, cool. So I'm Hal. I, I wasn't expecting to get him, but I did. So yeah, but that is it for this video. Um, leave a comment below if you got someone different or if you're the same one as me. Because uh, subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss one of my videos. Yes, it's raining. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to one more. Until then, peace and lights out.